one of the nice things about Lightroom is that you can customize the interface. And you can customize it so much that you can actually change what appears right here. You can include something other than the logo. You can also change the size of the module picker buttons over here on the right. In order to do that, navigate to the Lightroom pull down menu. On a PC, navigate to the edit pull down menu and choose identity plate setup. Now the first thing that we want to do is use a styled text identity plate. We can type out some text here. I'm going to go ahead and do all caps. Chris Orwig photography. All right, great. Well, how come I can't see anything? Well, what you need to do is click on this button here, enable identity plate. Let's say I think that's a little bit too far to the left. Click in front, add a few spaces. Let's say the font is too small. Highlight it, choose a new size. We'll go ahead and crank that up. You can also customize the color. I'll highlight this word photography and then click on the color swatch here and I'm going to choose a new color. All right, that looks pretty good. And then I'll close that. Okay, well, so far so good. Let's say that I like this identity plate. Well, in order to save that, all I need to do is click on the pull down menu and choose save as. And I'll just name this one CO for Chris Orwig and then save that out. And now if I want to choose that, I have the option here from the pull down menu. So as you can imagine, you can get kind of creative with this, have some fun identity plates, some different options, and experiment with your overall branding right inside of Lightroom. Not to mention, this is really helpful when a client is viewing images and they're looking at the images inside of Lightroom. It just makes the overall experience that much better. Well, one of the problems with this particular identity plate is it now makes these buttons seem really, really big. Well, that's no big deal. I can change their size by simply choosing a new font size here, and I'll go ahead and make these a little bit smaller. And I can, of course, change the way that the highlight works. Currently, the highlight is white. If I want to change that, let's say I would like it to be blue, I can now set it up so that the highlight is now blue. Okay, we can also choose the font as well. All right, well, now that you've made all of these changes, to apply these changes, all that you need to do is to simply click OK. Well, you may have noticed that there is one other option that I have neglected to mention, and that is using a graphical identity plate. Now, because that one's a little bit more involved, let's talk about doing that in the next movie.